quite a spark, isn't it? It's absolutely correct. Good answer. Where there is more air pressure. That's a marshmallow with no air. So I started the laboratory in 1969. And uh, I started right in the electronics engineering department. I am going to take this balloon to outer space. I retired from the laboratory after a 33-year career, and so I became a tour guide uh, for the laboratory. When I was doing the tours, occasionally I would drop by to see what was going on over in the auditorium. And that's when I saw this fun with science program taking place. And I got really excited about that. And I thought, boy, this is, this is something to try. I've got to learn how to do this. On our fun with science programs that we have here at the laboratory, a lot of adults come too. If our adults become interested in science, I think they'll pass that interest on to their kids. I, I think a, a nation that has a, a strong scientific background is a strong nation. My answer had to be 300 words or less, and it had to be directed, directly directed, to an 11-year-old 5th grade student. It's what I did last year, but it didn't work out as well. So this year, I decided, oh, I'll go online and uh, see what they say about time. And I started to go online. I said, hold it. That's not what I want to do. I put myself in a classroom. And, and, and I put myself in a position, okay, I'm going from chemistry over to air pressure, and I say, okay, kids, now it's time to go to air pressure. And I see a hand go up. And the hand, the hand is from a young man, he says, what's time? What is time? Have you ever heard your parents say to you that it's time to go to bed? Or time to get up? Time to go to school. Time to clean your room. Time to do this, time to do that, and on and on. To me, time, uh, for that particular student would be forward motion. Ever since the Big Bang Theory, everything has been moving out. And no matter where you, you, spend, uh, you, you take a look from that circle of where that Big Bang was, everything is moving in a forward direction. Man has, has found a way to put a scale to that. We call it time. And so it's measured. And so that was the basic premise for, my, for what, my, what is time question was to, to base it on, well, it's all forward motion.